Good evening. Before getting involved with holiday tournaments this week, the Girard Yellow Jackets hosted Corey in a non-region boys basketball contest. The Beavers were on fire to begin the game as they bolted out to a double-digit lead near the end of the first quarter. But Girard makes a run. Austin Shady buries a three-pointer at the other end of the floor. Nate James would be able to connect from the baseline as he gets a nice bounce pass. Catch and fire, knocks it down. Back come the Jackets, though. Shady flashes to the top of the key. It's a catch and shoot opportunity for him, and he rips another triple. And then in the closing seconds of the first quarter, it's Dylan McDonald able to bomb the three pointers. He's able to beat the game clock. He would finish with a game high 23 points as the Jackets get themselves back into the game. Early portions of the second quarter now, and it's Shady on the drive, and he scores two of his 13 points on the lay-in. Corey counters, though, Logan Jonkis. Drills the baseline jumper. He led the team with 20 points. Then it's Nick Brundage delivering on the long jumper as he gets the kick out as he was camping out near the top of the key. And it's Corey knocking off Gerard Monday night by the final 63-51. to High school girls basketball, Farrell hosting their own holiday tournament, taking on Meadville action early on. Santa Brody with the steal and takes off for the easy lay-in. And then it's Brody flying down the court as she scores again. And she had seven quick points to start the contest. The Steelers were up 25 to 8 in the second quarter when Brody misses the three point opportunity. But Jaylee Green is there for the bound and put back as she finished with 16 points. Farrell goes on to win it 58 to 22. And it's career win number 300 for Ed Taroski. He becomes the fifth Mercer County girls head coach to reach that milestone.